right, Mr. Escape, nice to see you again. Julie will talk in a bit. It's uh, shortly after 5 o'clock Pacific time, which is, uh, counts for the daylight. What are you up to? They're going to chain me against the side of this car, Dick, that's filled with explosives with four combination padlocks. Are these new, officer? Yes, sir, they are, Mr. Clark. Just to your knowledge, he hasn't seen the combinations? No, sir, he has not. All right, now, uh, what else? Well, we have an experiment for you. We'd like you to open one of those padlocks for us and see how long it takes you. <laughs> All right, hold this mic for me. You bet. Say. Would you hold the combination up, officer, and I'll tell you when to start the time here. All right, start the time right now. All right, there's the first number, and uh, the second one, and uh, there, there you go. How long? Seven. seven seconds. Fordham 7 is what, uh, 28 seconds? 28 right? seconds. And uh, the car down there will come speeding this way. How much time have you got? 10 seconds. Wait a minute. I had 28 seconds. There, yeah, we have a little yeah, mathematical. Have a you bet. You have a problem. I have a problem. Officer? You bet. Uh, all right, let's start lashing them up here, and uh, let's talk a little bit about the speed of the car coming at you while they go to work. You bet. Uh, how far away is that car down there? The car is a little over 100 yards away. It will come at me at 55 miles an hour. Who's driving? Chuck Fortson, stunt driver for Joey Chitwood. Your life is in his hands. My life is in his hands. He must hit his mark. I must do my job and right, get and, out of the way. And this car is loaded with explosives behind you? Yes, sir. What's he Set headed? Off on impact. Is this the target, this thing? This is the target. Painted right behind you. Right behind right, me. Let me step out of the way so they can continue chaining up. Who are the, uh, who's the gentleman down on his knees here? This is our head mail assistant, Jay St. John. And from the L.A. Of Police Department. Officer Larry. And? And our paramedic, Howard Keyes. Uh, he's standing by, and hopefully we will not want him for any purpose whatsoever. Is there any way in the world you can practice this sort of thing, Julie? Not really. He can practice the actual getting out of the chains but he can't practice all of the elements once they're put together. You would uh, be blowing up cars and smashing cars all right and left. So. You people make this sound like it's an everyday way to make a living, but it is extraordinarily dangerous. This is nothing anybody ought to fool around with. Absolutely. It is very dangerous. And this particular stunt is not only dangerous for Steve with the explosives and the speeding car coming at him, but it's extremely dangerous for the chunt. Uh, the driver? The driver. Yeah, Chuck uh, it. I can understand your nervousness. Is there anything you would like to say to your audience? Yes, Dick. As I've said before, I would like to invite the audience, those here in the studio, or, uh, at the studio, and those at home, to hold a good thought that I can make this escape and assist me, at least mentally. Thank you, Dick. Julie, once again, we remind you, it's only the work of a professional. This cannot be tried by an amateur. It's dangerous. Do not ever try anything like this. That's fireproof gel that's going on his hair now. All right, let's do it. On three. One. Two. Three. I'm okay. I'm okay. How's my boy? Yes. Come on. Bring us Chuck. He's out. He's out. All right. All right, Chuck. Let's look at that in slow motion now. What, yeah. what were you concerned about when this thing was barreling well, down at you? Is this, it was, as it was coming at me, Dick, I had the uh, problem of trying to coordinate everything because I have 10 seconds. I said, I'll, I'll go for the feet first. I got the feet out of the first. I got the right hand out. I spun around to do the left hand. And in the rehearsals today, I have a problem with the right, left hand. Oh. So I was pulling, pulling, pulling on it. And next thing I knew, the car was on me and I had to go. Oh. And bam! Chuck? Chuck Fortson? Great. Are you all right? Fine. A little, little, worried, Fine. little worried about your. What a hit. Oh, man. I'm, I'm glad that you got next uh, couple of couple. Of, I can't talk. Have you got something else planned I've for us? I've got something challenge? great planned for you, Dick. Right, two weeks. Two weeks. Thank you, gentlemen. Chuck, thank you, Julie. Thank you, thank you all very much. <laughs> Mr. Escape, Steve Baker. Now, we'll be right back with Ventriloquist Ron Lucas and the unusual music of the Del Rubio triplets. Oh.